Buffalo where crash in Brown Deer leaves a three-year-old girl dead and one other child injured. Their father could now face charges. This is just the latest in a series of crashes in our area. Yona Gavino is live with what police are doing to change that. Yona? Well, right now I can tell you Brown Deer police are cracking down more than ever on reckless and unsafe driving. That's because there have simply been too many cases like this over the past several months. It's the latest in what Brown Deer police say have been a string of fatal crashes. So since December 1st, um, we've had five fatality crashes. And at the end of 2015, our department uh, realized that we had an increase in traffic crashes and we wanted to be proactive and try to uh, reduce that number. They started an initiative to have more officers on the roads to educate and prevent careless, unsafe driving. They believe the most recent fatality included a deadly mix of speeding and drinking. The medical examiner says three-year-old Ramoni Little Smith died when the car she was in rolled over four to five times. We've been here 40 years and that's the worst we've seen. Her mother's boyfriend was driving. Police believe he'd been drinking. Wisconsin State Patrol estimate the car was going 90 to 100 miles per hour when it flipped over. Well, here, the speeders typically um, they come from Milwaukee, that's a 45, uh, on Titonia, that's a 40 mile an hour. So when they come up here and it gets a little more, uh, less civilized, you know, I think they tend to speed up. Drivers will see more marked cars as part of the high visibility traffic enforcement, but residents know fellow drivers can't get complacent. We have to be cautious, but we also have to watch out for people who aren't, and we need to wear our own seatbelts so that if we're hit, we're not putting ourselves in danger too. And we're told by police that the boyfriend and another child in the car also got hurt. We're live in Brown Deer. Yona Govino, today's TMJ4. All right, Yona, thanks.